Hey kiddo, I've got a question for you. What? Chocolate chip cookies. Can it maple? Yes. Let's go do it. For those that are new here, Can It Maple is a series that I started way back in Alaska. Because my husband has chronic pancreatitis, so all things that were sweetened for him, we used pure maple syrup. But then we as a family decided to cut out all refined sugars as well. So we don't use white sugar and we don't use brown sugar. Now, we're in Texas. We've been in Texas for six months. We kind of got off track a little bit. We started eating processed sugars again, just out of convenience and getting ourselves settled. And thankfully, since arriving in Texas, my husband's chronic pancreatitis has been very well under control and he's been able to expand his dietary options. But we as a family decided that we wanted to get back to the way we felt when we were not eating refined sugars. So, we're going to bring back the Can It Maple series, which is where I take regular recipes and replace any refined sugar, so white sugar or brown sugar, with pure maple syrup. And a lot of you guys requested chocolate chip cookies, so let's go! Now clearly, this recipe is not going to be 100% processed sugar free because we're using chocolate. But we personally choose to use dark chocolate, which has a significantly less amount processed sugar in it than the regular semi-sweet chocolate that you usually put in chocolate chip cookies. And get ready to pause, because I'm going to show the exact recipe that we're going to follow. We like to make it easy on ourselves and just use a recipe on the back of the packaging itself, except for this 3 4 cup of sugar and 3 4 cup of brown sugar is going to be pure maple syrup instead. And also, another disclaimer, you're going to find out real quick and in a hurry while you start watching my cooking content videos again, is the fact that I am a lazy baker. Meaning we're not making the fancy shaped cookies here that I have to individually measure out and put on cookie sheets and put them in the oven and then pull them out and let them cool and put more back in and it takes too long. We make bars. I put them all in a pan like this and then everybody can just self-serve themselves. What are you doing over there? She is partaking in the caramel popcorn that we mapled last night. And I have to say, I don't blame her. I've been snacking on it too. Let's go make some chocolate chip cookies together. We're gonna go on and preheat our oven to 375 and we're gonna do the upper oven for the cookies. And then because we have a double oven and I'm still making dinner over there, we're gonna go on and preheat the bottom oven here for dinner. Okay, you're gonna start with two sticks or one full cup of softened butter into your bowl. We're using one of my pots because the other bowl is not ready in the dishwasher yet. Now we're adding two eggs. Hey, if you eat all the chocolate chips before we put them in the cookies and we can't make chocolate chip cookies. Okay, now we're doing two teaspoons of vanilla. We gotta use a half teaspoon scoop though because again, the dishes didn't get finished in time for us to take on this project, so. And now comes the sugar. Now the recipe calls for 3 fourths cup of sugar and 3 fourths cup of brown sugar. Remember, we're not using either one of those. We're going to do a one-to-one -one replacement for pure maple syrup. So we're going to do one and a half cups of pure maple syrup. And for the negative Nellies that I know are gonna show up in my comment section and go, <laughs> that's too much sugar. It's literally the exact amount of sugar that the recipe calls for. It's just in syrup form. And maple syrup is actually better on your digestive system and is a lower glycemic index, so it actually doesn't have near as much of the horrible effects that refined sugar does on your body. AKA, leave your judgy judgmentals elsewhere because we're not having it in the comment section. Enjoy the content or scroll on, I don't scale. Okay, so here we go. One and a half cups of pure maple syrup into the bowl it goes. Now we do the mixing before we add in some dry stuff. Next up is two and a quarter cups of flour. One teaspoon of baking soda. And last but not least, our bag of chocolate chips. I know it says to measure them out, but like what kind of psycho does that? You put the whole bag in, obviously. And again with the stirring of things. Butter your pan so things don't stick. Spread out your batter, because again, we're lazy bakers over here, and this is gonna come out tasting the exact same way as cookies do, and we just don't have to take that extra step. Stick them in the oven and let them do their thing. Now the packaging says that I need to bake them for nine to 11 minutes, but that's for making cookies. And remember, we're lazy bakers over here. So I have my timer set for 11 minutes, planning to check them then, but expecting a few extra minutes because they're a little bit thicker. So stay tuned. 
And after 19 minutes in the oven at 375 degrees, we have maple chocolate chip cookie bars.